What is happening, beautiful people? Sassy Gal Namaste this along if you're watching for the very first time. Welcome, my name is Evan. Guys, today I'm gonna answer a question I get asked quite a bit is which is the best course to take if you want to learn Amazon FBA? Now you're probably gonna be surprised by my answer, and some of you won't be, but the best course to take is none of them. Okay, I'm being honest with you. I did take a course, I'm not gonna name it, but it was an utter waste of time. It was a waste of 500 bucks that I spent. Uh, without $500, I could have probably could have bought uh, more stock, more inventory, spent it on something else. You know what I mean? The reason why I'm saying this is um, the course landed on my lap um, because I thought the course was going to be like advanced stuff. Okay, more like strategic stuff, uh, strategies. Unfortunately, the course is all Amazon basics. Uh, for 500 bucks, honestly, it's a waste of money. You don't need to spend that kind of money on a course to learn the basics. I mean, if you're um, doing this business and you need to be handheld every step of the way, this may not be the business for you because at the end of the day, all you're doing is taking products and selling it on a website. You know what I mean? It's not rocket science. This stuff's not hard. Okay. Now getting the basics right out of the gate, like finding products and stuff like that. There's so many, you know, free tutorials out there. I'll leave a link in the description, which I highly recommend everything you need you can find by doing a quick search on YouTube or Google. There's answers out of the yin yang for stuff that you need to figure out, man. Like, do you really need to spend five, six hundred dollars on a course on how to show you create a shipping plan? Do you really need to spend five, six hundred dollars, you know, on how to create your seller account or whatever? Like, honestly, it, it's ridiculous. You don't need to spend that kind of money. Now, again, if those of you that need to be handheld, um, so be it. But my, my question is to you guys, if you need to be handheld, every step of the way the process, what's gonna happen when the course is over and you run to big problems. And the other thing why I don't like about courses is that most of them teach you a linear system. What do I mean by linear system? They're gonna teach you to do X, Y, Z, you know, this weight has gotta be in terms of the product, look at between $20 and X, Y, Z, can't be this big, can't be that tall, this, like, they're pigeonholing you into a system um, that not just yourself, but many other people are gonna do. So if everyone, right, is doing the same thing, same search criteria, you know, what are the chances of you finding the same product as somebody else? It's very, very likely. And I've actually been in Facebook groups, but that's actually happened. So guys, I can't stress this enough. Like I said, I did the course. I didn't follow any of it. I threw it all out because I'm like, you know what, why would I want to do what everyone else is doing? I did the opposite. Whatever they told me to do, I did the complete opposite. Not even, I didn't even, um, follow anything I just stopped looking into the course I didn't even finish like module two or three and I just went in looked at products I've actually done a video on how I search for my products now it's not the best way to do it it's not the worst way to do it it's a system that works for me feel free to check it out okay I basically went in and looked for products that interested me that um, you know I knew that I could put my name towards stuff that I like I'm passionate about and honestly, it was the best thing I ever did. You know what I mean? I can tell you from experience that I did find other products when I followed, you know, some of these other systems. It just didn't work out for me. I couldn't put all my heart into it and I lost money. I mean, you guys know my story, right? Now, guys, I can't stress this enough. If you really need a course, like I said, if you really need to be handheld into a system, that's fine. It is what it is. Okay. But before you dive into spending money on a course, do your due diligence, learn the basics yourself. If anything, take a course on, uh, you know, retail arbitrage where that will teach you the Amazon system. Okay. That's going to be basically buying products at a very low price or stuff from around your house and sending it into Amazon and, you know, trying to make a profit. If, if you're going to learn anything, learn that because I'll teach you how Amazon works, how to create a shipping plan and blah, blah, blah. And it kind of teach you the system. Okay. If you need it, but if you're going to start doing bigger stuff like scaling and private label and wholesaling, you know, you don't need a course for that. If anything, you know, spend the money and go to like an event, spend the money and go to like a workshop, you know, spend the money, go to like one of those Amazon, you know, special events that may be held somewhere across the country where you're gonna learn real tips and tricks and where you're gonna you know, meet other people in the business. That's where you're gonna get more value, I'll be honest with you. But actually getting started on Amazon FBA just to sell a few products, I personally don't believe you need to take a course. That's my personal opinion. Although, you know, there's gonna be a bunch of people that, you know, agree with me, disagree with me. Again, this is my take on it. If anyone ever says to me, you know, would you pay for a course? I'd be like, no, that's madness, don't do it. 
there's plenty of free resources that you could use. And like I said, I'm gonna link one in the description below that I followed after I took the course and I bombed badly, okay? So again, I wanna repeat, what is the best course to learn Amazon FBA? Me, I'm telling you, there isn't one. Learn everything on your own. Don't spend the money. Spend the money on other things. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you got any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comments below. But I want to say, if you're watching the vlog for the very first time, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Please subscribe, part of the family. If you want to see more vlogs just like this, please click on the end of the sky. Of course, my peeps, be you. Stay optimistic. Enjoy the rest of your night. It's a big high five for me to all of you.